Hi, this is the second video of chapter 3. We are going to talk about a rule of thumb to fix the price and the quantity that the producer should choose. Okay, so to begin, we know that in equilibrium, the marginal revenue is going to equal to the marginal cost. And we want to translate this condition into a rule of thumb that can be more easily applied in practice. So in the equilibrium, the marginal cost equal to the marginal revenue. And to do this, to do this rule of thumb, we first write the expression of marginal revenue as the variation in the total revenue when the quantity varies in one unit. And this equals to the variation in price multiplied by quantity, because the total revenue is the price multiplied by quantity, when the quantity varies in one unit. So this will be the additional revenue, the marginal revenue is the additional revenue from increasing one unit of quantity, the total revenue. What happens with the total revenue? And this additional net revenue from increasing one unit of quantity has two components. The first component comes from the idea that producing one extra unit, this one extra unit, and selling it at a price of P will bring in revenue P. Okay, so if I multiply one unit by the price, the revenue will be the price, exactly the price. And the second component comes from the idea that as the firm is going to face a downward sloping demand curve, Producing and selling this extra unit also results in a small drop in price. Okay, so if we uh, imagine the demand curve, we see that this has a downward sloping. This is down, is downward sloping. It has a decreasing um, a slope. We know that this increase in revenue will also result in a small drop in price, okay? So this will be the small drop in price for all the units that have been sold. A small decrease in, in the price by the units that have been sold, and this will reduce from all units sold, this, there will be a change in revenue equal to the number of units that are sold by, uh, multiplied by this decrease in the price, because the price will be lower as the quantity exchange increases, the quantity demand increases, so the price is lower, this, this change here will be a negative change, it will be a drop, okay, multiplied by the number of units. So at the end, the marginal revenue can be rewritten as P plus first component plus second component Q, multiplied by the variation in price when the quantity varies in one unit. This is something negative. So if we multiply and divide the second component, this part, by the price, I multiply and divide by the price, all this, I can see that here I have the reciprocal of the elasticity. So this part will be now 1 divided by the elasticity of the demand. So the marginal revenue can be rewritten as P plus P multiplied by 1 divided by the elasticity. This is the part of the second component. And as in the equilibrium I know that the marginal cost equal to the marginal revenue, we know that this we have found here will equal in the equilibrium to the marginal revenue. So if I extract one change here, I can extract the price, for example, it will be price multiplied by 1 plus 1 divided by the elasticity, and in the other side of the inequality, we will have the marginal cost. So if I extract the price, it will be marginal cost divided by 1 plus 1 divided by the elasticity. And also we can rearrange 
like this. It doesn't matter which of them you will like to choose. It will depend mainly if you have the price, you will it, you should use this equation, and if you have the uh, well, if you have the marginal cost and the elasticity, and you want to know the price, you can use this second equation. And that's all for the moment. See you in the next video.